morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Mrs. Meeble here, and this time it's not a game review. It's, uh, well, I'm just going to show you uh, what I take out with me um, in the car, um, wherever I go. Um, it's basically this beast. There we go. <sighs> It's, um, it's an art bin bag that I've had a very long time, but um, I've only just recently um, claimed it's used for something else. Um, and it makes a wonderful um, bag game. Um, I have uh, 13 games in here, um, and they can go everywhere with me, especially to the pub, because uh, that's always good. Uh, so I thought I'd show you this. Um, because it's nice to be able to take your games out and it's nice to be able to have a choice when you're out or to what game you quite fancy. Um, so, let's have a look. In, um, it's got this little clip here and a playmat. Um, I always take a playmat with me. Um, they're very handy because pub tables tend to be quite sticky and icky, um, especially if someone's just been eating there and no one's wiped it or whatever and just protect the game a little bit so I, I just wang that down on the um, on the table a bit of extra protection and then uh, what have we got in the front here there is a useful little bits box how many are, how many of you are now guessing what games I've got in here by looking at these bits here we go I'll give you a quick can you guess what all the games are, or some of the games, from that shot? Probably, probably, you're going, oh, I've spotted, I've spotted, I've spotted ghost bits. Um, so that's in the front. On the other side, uh, there's a little zip pocket. Let's get it in the shot. And I put all the instructions, because um, a lot of the games I know off my heart in here, but there's always that question. How many cards do you start with again? Or yeah, you know the sort. And I've also put I also put boards in here, small boards. So I'm guessing that you've already guessed what that game is possibly. But I'll run through all, each game. Um, yes, so little boards go in there, and the instructions. And then the main part of the bag. Bear with me is this plastic tote box. Um, I put my telephone number on it in case I leave it at the pub. I haven't done yet because I am, they're my babies. I'm not going to leave my babies behind. Um, but I'm sure the time will come um, when I do forget it. So that's just there just in case. And I'm sure some lovely person will pick it up and go, what? what's this? Um, so in here, I might cut to another scene. Uh, there we go. Um, I have ooh, um, cards. I have an old um, part of an um, expansion box in here. And I have my cards with dividers and of course, I have uh, Pig Ten. Pig Ten doesn't always live in here, um, but if I'm taking this, then Pig Ten has its own home in there. Uh, there's uh, a couple of mint works in the front and some counters in the front as well. But uh, let's, let's take a closer look uh, at a different angle at it. So, right, here we go. Um, let's go through the games. Uh, Pig Ten, of course. Beautiful Pig Ten. Uh, watch my review on it if you haven't. Um, Favourite game. Uh, Mint Works, uh, which is a lovely little uh, quick uh, worker placement game. Um, and then here, what do we have? Uh, Dwarves the, the Duel. Um, here we go. It's a, a nice little light two player game. Uh, of course, I take. Um, Go splits wherever I go because um, it's a fantastic laugh. Go splits is I, I've noticed. Go splits is, is is a bit of a marmite game. People are either get it and they're good at it, 
or they just don't get it and fail dismally at the game completely. So you do have to be careful um, not to upset people. Um, not to, well, not to upset them, but just that they don't feel like they're, they're completely useless at it. So next game we have, I have um, Zock's copy of uh, Jekyll and Hyde, which is a push your luck game, which is, uh, the dwarves, dwarves obviously use these dice, um, and Jekyll and Hyde use this. This is for uh, Fantascati or uh, Ghost Blitz. Uh, next I have Port Royal, another uh, nice sort of medium weight sort of um, push your luck game. Uh, and then in here I have a copy of St Domingo, which again is a, it's a, you're kind of betting on what everybody else is going to do and what they're not going to do. And the board for that is actually in here. So there we go. Then I have the copy of the game. Um, this is this is a nice little game where you're all working cooperatively uh, to try and beat the game to try and get down to get rid of all your cards and get rid of all the the deck of cards. Then I have uh, oh my goods for if I'm feeling a, a bit of a heavier game. And again, I have. Um, a copy of uh, Harbour in here, so the boards are in here somewhere. There we go. Uh, tasty minstrel game, sort of a worker um, worker placement, resource management type game. And then I have a copy of um, Contrast, which I've also done a, a, a review for, um, and these are the, the separate decks that go go with that. So there we have it. I also have um, a copy of Fiery Dragons in here, which is a hubber game, uh, a memory game. And the board, is, the board is nicely designed in segments, so it makes a big circle. Um, and it's a memory game, you're trying to turn over the things you need to move your dragons. Which everybody tells me, they all, ugh, wherever I go, say... So, they're not dragons, they're bunny rabbits. Let me just, right, you, you decide for yourself, is this a dragon or is it a bunny rabbit? Dragon, bunny rabbit. You tell me what you think. Um, and I've also got a game of, um, a rondelle sort of game, um, worker placement called Province in here. The Province board should be in here somewhere. Uh, yes, with the, the tokens there and this as well. So that's it really. I have got another little space. If someone can recommend a game with a few cards and, and, and some bits that could fill that space, that would be fantastic. Um, because there is room for another game. There we go. So yes, my bag, uh, travel game bag. Um, I can highly, highly recommend creating one of these, um, whether you can get this particular one or, or not. Um, but it's so good to, to just have, not have all the boxes in your car or just sort of think, have to, have to think before I go out, what game should I take? Uh, right, I'm going to the pub, what game should I take? And then you have to pick one, and that then restricts you, because you might get to the pub and think, oh, I don't fancy that now, I fancy the other one I left on the shelf, I should have brought that one. Um, they're all here, um, and you can play one on one, and then another, another one, a different one, and then someone comes over and goes, oh, what are you doing? Have you got a game for me to play? And I go, yes. Um, here, let me teach you this game. Um, and suddenly the pub has turned into um, a game night. <laughs> Uh, yes, get yeah, do do. I mean, if you can't if you can't get this bag, but do get do make yourself a travel bag um, because they they're brilliant, really good. Highly recommend it. Me pull thumbs up. <laughs>